greetings and salutations and I'm just trying to get this adjusted so it's not so terrible <coughs> get the maximum viewage on this uh, today is September 22nd instead of doing the day thing I'm just gonna go with episodes and probably put the date in for the original play I've been playing on and off, but I uh, haven't been playing that much. I get distracted by other games and other uh, developments and... I think on my first things to do list is uh, pick out the animals from the my house. I actually upgraded it, bought a house and got it up to this, upgraded it once more. Didn't take me long to do that. Oh, got mail. You have hate mail. Vacuum cleaner? I need one of those. And Luna's bed. Actually, no. Let's try Luna's bed. The reason why the cushion was right in front of the switch is because you can sit on it and rotate and tap the switch. And you can sit in front of the switch. See, I was like, get up. And the question is, do I roll? Oh. Can I roll from the bed to the cot? And the answer is yes.
Actually, I really should look up the old feng shui a, uh, color arrangement code. Part of me says I kind of did it by default. All to put red on bottom, green on top. But I'm not sure if that's correct. Oh, forgot I need to grab out uh, some bugs and uh, fishies. Because the museum set up. Got myself a cute little museum right by my place. I purposefully set my house so it will be near the, where I put the museum. And uh, near... There's butterflies. We have an upper level. Huh. We have fishies. Go down by the fossils. There should be nothing down here. Because I don't think... I actually think I did give them some fossils. Just brochures. Now, of course, when I went over by the fire alarm, or, uh, the light came up. But then there's this sort of this tree of life. Or the evolution tree. That branches from one creature to the next. I'm guessing this is going from earlier in time and further forward. Got dead end on the left and continuation on the right. Branches out this way. Huh. The meteor impact. Diplodocus. Actually one of my favorite dinosaurs. A little storage closet area. The tree goes this way. This seems to be rather interesting. Evolution trees that lead to animal. It was an animal crossing. Oh, there's no human. Oh, wait. Human. There, that's this humans. Human spot. Human, indeed. Now, I don't see any art section in this museum. It's typically art, fossils, fish, and buggies. Going over to the buggy area because that should be the fullest area.
got some aquatic bugs. Needs to be some bugs added for that. Accidentally walked into a new room without looking through the other room. See, there's a spider I caught. my butterflies let's go over here next the butterfly room It focuses in on the butterfly itself. Also, uh, conveniently enough, uh, it puts uh, the butterflies by the plants that actually attract them the most. <coughs> give you two examples there. Migratory locust, long locust, and then over here is a cricket and the bell cricket. Nothing in here. Got a sand one up top here. Looks like the bug lab. Mosquito. Huh. Hermit crab. Question is who is he to live with? And then over to the fish side. This whole video is going to end up being basically me going through the museum because the record time on this setting thing for my camera is only like 20 some minutes. Because I decided to go with a uh, full. Uh, 1080 p 1080p 60 frames per second setting there should be really no fish in here there's the various uh, levels goes from uh, forest uh, stream to yeah I think this is forest stream section uh, forest lake forest stream and then ocean We got the ocean section. Probably have like sharks in here or something.
uh, crossed out section. Garbage can. Uh, squid and sea bass sea butterflies you donate like one and they just magically produce like five or six more Oh, this is kind of neat. A little through bridge. It's just walk, goes right through their aquarium. But of course, you know, that's it. Big ocean. Kind of neat. Well, there's the that section. I walked out that way. Huh. Kind of neat. Definitely a lot more interesting than the old ones from the older games. Yeah, this video is literally just going to be me don't walking through the museum and donating stuff that I've saved up. And then it's going to split into part two in another video of me actually going around the island. I think I'm going to run out before I get all in my pockets. Yep. Need to pick something out of my pocket. Turn off my switch. Run back out. Go to Blathers. Donate everything in a big, big pile. There's literally two minutes on the video. Record. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I
Well, I happen to have some in my pocket. And I'm wearing my swim in my... Sure, let's talk about the flatworm. Well, marine flatworms are well flat and worm-like. While the, this sea creature is said to be quite simple, it does possess some rather remarkable powers. You see, the, when the flatworms are injured, they can regrow, they can grow new body parts with ease. And when a flatworm is cut in half, each side can grow a whole new flatworm of its own. But most impressive of all is some flatworms can clone themselves through su suffering a single cut. And only if I... And I got an eel for you. Make a donation. Oh, there's a bunch of bugs in there. Oh. Oops, mistake. Bunch of fossils. And this is officially into a second video now because uh, literally an entire previous video is just me doing a tour of the museum that I just got. Petro body. And I got some nook miles. Push the plus, double. Sell she sells by the she. Oh. I'm already away on my to the next one. to the house pick up my other stuff get the tool ring out grab my pole my handy dandy pole
gather up some machine cells, the shell. Now I got a new DIY recipe. Mountain Standy. Which is out and about. I could I could dig up those uh, clams, but I'm not going to. Not yet, anyways. Oh, he's hanging out out at the residence area. Now, the thing that keeps throwing me off is. The fact that the items stack. Oops. The fact that everything stacks now. This whole half of the island on the left hand side is actually kind of barren as uh, left and top. Oh my goodness, there's a ghost. Uh, he's going to be surprised he's to see a human, but I'm going to leave him alone. I'm just going to sell the seashells, those and the crickets, and then go hunt him back down. Oh yeah, I have to talk with Nook because he upgraded my house. A hundred and ninety-eight thousand bells. Tom Nook is an awesome guy. He he basically gives you a loan with next to no in, no active interest and. Uh, all the time it takes for you to uh, pay off and upgrade. People that com uh, claim that he's a horrible, horrible person, person or character, character are either A, being sarcastic about it, or, it, or being dumb. No other earned. <clears throat> you push up on the D pad to pull that out. The ghost is probably hollow. Roaming around here, I forget his name.
There's a slight chance he went up onto the upper level, which I don't have access to. So oddly enough, the first time I ever played, he actually did come out to town, but he was over here on the upper level and I had no access to it. You know what? Try to make sure that those are always, always on a point into of uh, expedient and access. That way I can always hit up and then push, push over and hit the net and a snap. Okay. Uh, oh, got a stone. Okay, pro tip. Old school pro tip. Is that uh, you want to stand right in this little gap here, and that's a pill bug. And I'm going to try to keep going and going and going 